So guys, if you would like to see how I went from this to this without damaging my hair and uh, keeping all good condition at home with Schwarzkopf Blonde Me, make sure you keep watching. Today I have an exciting, what I'd like to think is an exciting video for you. I will be bleaching my own roots. So for anyone who doesn't know, I usually get my roots done in a hairdresser called the Ombre and Tala. They're great. It took me a while to find a hairdresser that I really liked, but I really love them. But obviously with the lockdown, it's been difficult and it looks like it's gonna be about another two months before I can probably get my hair done again, or at least another month or so. So I've decided to just do my own roots. For anyone who doesn't know, I used to do my roots all the time myself until I found La Ombre and I finally found a hairdresser that I was really happy with, which I am so delighted about. Anyway, so I am so happy with my hairdresser, but yes, I um, basically want to save my hairdresser a lot of hassle basically when I go in because I'm gonna have to do two bands on my hair myself anyway. And you know, I know they're gonna be really crowded and not have that much time. And when I do go to the hairdresser, it does take like three hours, like, you know, including the blow dry and stuff. So I just thought I would do it myself. I cannot live with these dark roots anymore. They're driving me insane. And then just a little disclaimer before I start getting into what I'm using and all that, I just wanna say I am not a professional. I'm not a professional hairdresser. I don't know how things are gonna react with different people's scalps, stuff like that. So I just wanted to put that out there. However, I have have bleached my own hair for quite a while before I started going to La Ombre and I was always very happy with my bleaching of it myself but it's just that it was so much work and effort I didn't want to put the effort in but yeah anyway I decided I would pop in this video today and I would just do my own roots so yeah just to start off I will share with you what I will be using so I will be using the Schwarzkopf I think that's how you say that never able to say it properly blonde me bleach it's a powder bleach it's a dust free powder says up to nine levels of lift i've never used this before and um, just a little disclaimer this is not cruelty free i found out i used to use the l'oreal uh powder bleach powder scalp bleach and i loved it to be fair so yeah hopefully this will go well i've also got the blonde me from swatchoff um, developer now i've gone for a 30 developer if you are new to bleaching your hair you're not really sure and stuff like that i would definitely suggest you know going for a lighter developer or a lower developer just to be safe but most people will use like a 20 or 30 i wouldn't go over 30 though if you don't know what you're doing i like to use a 30 a lot i've seen a lot of people using a 20 but i've always used a 30 myself when i did my hair myself so i decided to go with 30 so hopefully it'll go well today i've got a toner i bought a stress off toner as well and this color is ice and I'm going to try and mix this. Sorry, I've also bought a developer for this, so it's just a lower developer, it's 1.9 developer. So this is kind of like an icy color, but I'm actually going to try, and hopefully it goes well, to mix like a purple shampoo in with this so that I can kind of get a purpley uh, silver toner because when I was ordering, I couldn't find, didn't have any of the purple shade left. So I'm gonna try and make up my own toner. Hopefully it goes well and I don't mess up my hair, but with purple shampoo, you know, you can it, it wash it out over time. And I'm pretty happy for my hair to be quite purple when um, I get it done. So yeah, I will insert a picture. This is what my hair usually looks like when I come out of the hairdressers. Um, and yeah, so just a better look here. I'll just, no, you know, I'll zoom in. Let's get a little closer. So just to get a better look, you can see what my roots are like. I have basically black hair. Um, they are, geez, that's probably like two inches nearly of hair there. So um, that is not my hot root anymore. So what I'm gonna have to do basically to explain to you guys what you need to do when your roots are this long. You should not be applying it straight to your root. I'm gonna section my hair off and then what I'm gonna do is uh, put the bleach from here to about three quarters of the way up. So I'm gonna do it a band because what happens is the, this bit of your hair is not gonna lift as much as your hot root is going to lift. So basically at your scalp, your hair lifts a lot quicker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it, basically I'm gonna do a layer, um, like just to about there. And I'm gonna leave that on for 15 or so minutes before I do the rest and I'm gonna go back in then and do um, the root at my scalp. So hopefully this works well. I haven't done this, my, like this, this, um, I haven't had to do the two layers myself ever before. So this will be new for me to do it myself. I'm not really worried about doing it, it's more time consuming and hoping that I don't miss any spots. So what I'll do is I'll do like half of the front head of my hair on camera, then I'll do the rest off camera because I'm gonna need a mirror just to see the back of my head. And um, sorry, my makeup is so bad. Maybe I should do a touch up before I start getting into this video. <laughs> before I start putting bleach in my hair and all that jazz, I am just going to quickly section it 
section my hair into four. So I'm just going to it suits me very well, guys. What do you think? <laughs> going to start here okay we'll be sectioning off my hair I'm gonna take a quick layer like this that's the kind of thickness of the layer so you want to take that and what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna take my bleach and I'm that's way too much <laughs> now be very generous with this bleach so I'm gonna take it I'm gonna try and not overlap at the bottom but that's gonna be really hard to do because I'm doing this at home. You guys know? You feel me? And I'm gonna just pop that over like that and So basically you see there I've done one layer on this bit of hair and what I like to do is just check back throughout that just to make sure I haven't missed any spots as you can see just kind of going over it and now I'm going to do the other sections of my hair Okay guys, so that is the first layer on my top of my head. I'm gonna go do the bottom layer off uh, camera just because I can't really see the back of my head where I'm sitting, so I have to go into the other room. So I'll be back in one moment. Just finished the first layer of the back of my hair. So it's honestly been like at least 10, 15 minutes. So I'm just gonna go in and start doing the base layer now. So I still have a little bit of bleach left, but I'd suggest mixing up new bleach. Yeah, I would suggest when you are mixing up the bleach to make sure that it is uh, not getting too dried out because it gets dried out while you're doing it. You can add some more developer if that happens. But um, yeah, as you can see here, it looks like I'm getting a pretty good lift. As you can see, like that all looks like it's lifted pretty good. So now I'm gonna go back in and do my roots. So, and then what else, I'm, what I'm also gonna do is when I go in over the roots, I'm gonna drag it out onto the already bleached hair that I've just done a few minutes ago, so.
Okay guys, I'm just going to do the rest off camera because as you can see, it's just taking forever. I look crazy right now, but I will be back in a couple minutes when my hair is all done and I will show you guys uh, when cling film on. Okay guys, so I'm just going to pop some cling film on my hair because I look like I don't want cling film. Um, yeah, plastic is good for keeping your hair, um, your dye on your head. So I'm just going to of cling film and See, cling film. my hair looks hilarious I've tried my best not to overlap the bleach with my current hair but it is so hard when you're doing it yourself your own head and um, this looks hilarious I think I've got a blue head but I'm going to be leaving this for about another probably like 30 minutes just because it took me so long to put it in my hair so I most of it's already done <laughs> now I'm just going to tidy up a bit and get my stuff ready for my toner and hopefully that will go well <laughs> so sorry guys I actually just put my toner on in the bathroom because it was so much easier in here and putting clothes on. I was just in my towel and sat in the bathroom for a few minutes so let's have a look at my hair. I will insert a picture here after the bleach and here with the toner on. So when you're putting the toner on, I'm just talking quietly because it's the middle of the night and I want to get to bed. <laughs> when you're putting the toner on you put it all through your roots as if you're doing your roots and then mash it through the rest of your hair. So it doesn't look like it got that purple, which I'm kind of sad about. It definitely got the nice, I see it's a little bit, first thing I think it looks a bit yellow there, but it definitely got this lovely icy toner, but it doesn't look like the purple shampoo stuck much. Tone, the toner worked really well. Um, I just wish I obviously mashed it into my hair a little bit better, but what can you do? Okay, so guys, I'm going to leave my hair like this and go to bed. I actually always sleep with wet hair. I just find it so much easier because I don't have to wait for it to dry. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Uh, well, guys, this is annoying. My hair didn't dry overnight. It's still quite wet, so I'm just going to blow dry it. Okay, here guys, I am freezing my frizz. I'm going to straighten my hair. Hey guys, so that is it. I'm just gonna zoom out a tiny bit so you can see my full hair. Sorry, I'm wearing a brown top, so it's not ideal to go with this hair, but what do you guys think? Um, it definitely came out a nice, icy, silvery color. I wish it was a bit more purple. However, when I ordered the toner, I was just gonna mix up my own toner, but they didn't have any of the purple one. They only had the icy, frosty one, whatever it was called. So I am super happy. Look, it looks quite clean, to be fair. I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a tiny band there, but it's really not that noticeable. Yeah, I know my face it doesn't look great, but I have to start work soon and I'm filming this at 8 a.m. in the morning. So yeah, I did blow dry straight my hair this morning, which I usually would never do, but just for the purpose of this video, I've got quite a lot of hair, which is really nice considering I have blonde hair. And I really have to say this to testify to my hairdresser. After using the bleach, I will say that my hair doesn't feel amazing. Like usually when I come out of hairdressers, after getting my bleach and my toner and everything, my hair feels so good. I'm always like, ah. So yeah, it doesn't feel just as like kind of smooth and everything. So I think I'm gonna order a treatment because I haven't put treatment in it, but I think I'm gonna order like an old effects treatment. I think I wanna get number two. I have got used number three and I really liked it, but number two apparently is just a bit better. Yeah, so just to run back through what I did. So yeah, I had really long roots and I did one band of like about that much before and then left that in for like 15, 20 minutes and then went back and did my actual root. You need to do this if your roots are really long because your uh, it's not your hot root anymore. So basically what will happen is if you just put it in your root all the way down straight away, you'll have white roots, 
more yellow and then it'll be white again so you want to avoid doing that that's why you need to leave it in that, that bit of hair a bit longer so when i got in the sh i got in the shower and washed all the bleach out i did shampoo my hair a bit to get the bleach out because it was just i needed to shampoo which i wouldn't suggest shampooing your hair before you put a toner in my scalp seems to have been pretty resistant so when i put my toner on last night it did burn a tiny bit at the top of my head here at first but that was it wasn't too bad i tried to towel dry my hair gently as much as i could before i put the toner in so yeah i washed the bleach out with a bit of shampoo i got out of the shower and that's why i didn't come back out here i just stayed in the shower because i was just in my towel towel dried my hair a bit and tried to like get as much of the moisture out of it as i could and then i applied the toner to my roots first all around my head and then kind of mashed it in to the rest of my hair i left the toner in for about 20 minutes or so however i wish I might be left it a little bit longer but i do think the toner wasn't great on my hair then i got back in the shower washed it all out and i also did like um when i washed it i used purple shampoo and i left the shampoo in for like five or ten minutes then washed it out and i did put a lot of conditioner in and left the conditioner in my hair for a little bit i would suggest if you're doing this at home maybe get like an old plex treatment and when your hair because your hair needs to be wet before you put the old plex treatment in so after you'd wash and condition your hair and everything from after bleaching it i'll put the old plex treatment in and maybe like go to bed for the night get some cling film go to bed for the night with the old plex treatment in your hair it's gonna make a huge difference so yeah i would definitely suggest doing that and then yeah basically i i went to bed with wet hair last night and i did need to blow dry it this morning unfortunately but yeah i blow dried it and uh, straightened it this morning would i do this again at home preferably not like if salons were closed for another six months they're not going to be but if they were I think I would I would think about doing it again myself uh, just to keep up with the upkeep but one the hassle and effort of it is just so much to me anyway I'm like you know everything I ordered cost around 50 60 euro but to be fair I have like another use of the toner and I could bleach my hair another three times maybe even four times that with that bleach powder so there is that price element however what I pay like 110 120 euro when I get my hair done that's for like wash cup blow dry bleach roots toner and um, with a top stylist to me I'm like I'd rather pay that every two months than I have to go through the effort of doing it myself I think it's really really hard when you're doing it at home doing it on your own head to not cross the bleach over to your previously bleached hair which is something that's obviously a lot easier and if you're a trained professional you're used to doing like I always think that after I get my hair done in La Ombre by Megan, my hair looks amazing, it feels amazing, um, like I'm just overall really happy with it. Like I am happy with it today, but I don't really want to have to keep going through this effort. I didn't notice any breakage though, I was a bit scared that I would like burn my hair off or something, but it was like, I think there was even less hair in the drain in the shower than usual. Like I don't lose a whole lot of hair when I wash my hair anymore, thank God. Just because over the past like three or four years, I've really gotten my hair back in good condition, which is something that was so important to me and I'm so happy. And that is part of the reason I do go to the hairdresser, just because, you know, I know I can do my hair like this myself if I really wanted to. And yes, it would save me a bit of money. However, I don't think it's worth the effort or the potential to damage my hair basically and I would like my hair to get longer and I don't want to increase the chance of any of it breaking off but anyway as you see this is my hair thickness when it's straightened so like it is still quite I've got a good bit of hair thank god so I guess that's it I don't know if there's anything else I want to tell you guys I mean a little background on my hair I've dyed my hair blonde for like 12 13 years now oh my god nearly 13 years I went blonde when I was like 15 and i'm gonna be 28 this year so that'll give you an example however um it's more like the past five six five or so years that it's been in much better condition i would say the first few years you know i had a lot of breakage when i would wash my hair it was like it felt like it was like a lot of rubber bands and it was like stretchy and that is when you know your hair is really damaged but yeah when i just started taking care of it uh, when I lived in Boston, I started taking care of it more and just kind of paying attention more to what I did. So anyway, as you can see, I'm like so happy with my hairdressers and I think it's so important that if you are dyeing your hair bleach blonde, you're bleaching your roots, you need to find a good hairdresser. But yeah, okay, I think that is it for today. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I should add? My overall thoughts as well is that I don't think you should do your own hair if you don't know what you're doing. If you feel confident enough and you think you know what you're doing and 
um, you know, you're good with your bleach and stuff, go ahead and do it. But I just think it's better to go to a good hairdresser on a regular basis. But I am happy I did this and it is nice not to be um, disgusting brown roots for the next few weeks of my lockdown. So guys, if you would like to see more hair care videos and fashion videos, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys in my next one.